All right, so it's also been well established that you officiated Matt Chapman's wedding. You guys go way back. We've talked about this before, but I wanted to circle back onto something that I got to thinking about afterwards. How did you get ordained for that? What was the process like? It's really quite, quite an easy process. Online? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You just had to click a button, say, get ordained here, and then it says, congratulations, and you get, You're your, done. You get your stuff. So that, and... But that's the easy part. Then the hard part is like, uh-oh. I'm literally on a bigger stage than a mound. For yeah. My buddy's wedding for this moment. I gotta say the right thing. I gotta. I gotta be perfect, right? Yeah. It was. Uh, I was a little nervous yeah. the night before. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, fortunately, we were in Mexico, and I was able to try some good tequila and a couple of good cervezas <laughs> help, help right you, right help before you to just kind of mellow yeah, me down. Yeah, right. Um, no, but I think uh, it, was, it was important to me. That's why, that's the yeah. only reason I felt um, want to get it right for some for sort of nerves. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to do a good job and, and um, you know, it's, it's a huge day for them. So for me, I was just more honored and privileged to be a part of their big day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I had prepared and, and I'm a preparation guy, you know, like <laughs> I, I have my routines and things I want to do. Um, and I was able to get it all done and, and I think I did a pretty good job. You know, Nick Allen just got engaged. Are you taking more offers or are you one and done? I mean, <laughs> we could, I could, you know, I hustle. could. It wouldn't be the worst job in the world for the off season, <laughs> I suppose. Okay, so you, you officiated the wedding. You also, in legendary status, DJ'd yeah. the wedding. Yeah, I did. And again, a follow-up question. I didn't get to ask you about this before. Are we talking like turntables here? Or are we talking like iPhone set to a playlist DJ? Yeah, uh, turntables. Yeah, I got like... Get out of here! Yeah. And a mixer in between? Yeah, a mixer and two CDJs. Yeah. You take this seriously. I, I, I like we, I here like we go. I like music. So okay. That was one of those things where like, I had time and had a buddy who knew what he was doing yeah. and just kind of picked it up in like an hour and you I was got like, into all DJ. right, I got to do this now. And then, uh, you know, living with him and um, some other buddies in the off season, we might have a nice, what felt like a summer day mm -hmm. in uh, like Newport Beach or something. And we just, you know, set them up and have a day in the sun and uh, be just playing music and having a good time. So it just kind of became one of those things where the wedding was happening and they're like, hey, Thanks. We can't wait for you to officiate our wedding, but you're also DJing. And I'm like, all right. That's quite the turnaround. Hey, if you guys want. For, yeah, Mr. So was, for Mr. Serious to Mr. Let's keep the party rolling. Yeah, here. people weren't quite sure how to uh, how to take <laughs> me that day, but I was I was busy. They you have a me. change of clothes for that too. Like, oh, I'm now now I'm the DJ. Should have been on payroll to be honest. Um, all right. So what do you spin there? Well, actually, this. Like, what type of music do you even like? Let's begin with that. I like everything, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I love I love. House music, hip hop, country, classic rock. Yeah. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of blues, a little bit really? of Elvis. Okay. I listen to everything. All right. I, I really enjoy and appreciate all all genres of music. Um, but for that kind of specific event, you know, you got to keep it uh, <laughs> right. Certain certain yeah, tone. Yeah. People kind of want a little bit of house music, so I was kind of playing some disco tracks right. and some house stuff and. Uh, just get the people dancing a little bit and having a good time. Who controls the boombox now in the clubhouse? That's me. Yeah. I knew it. See? Well, you're a DJ, right? Well, we got we kind of pass the sticks around. Tony gets on there a little bit. Yeah. Um, Elvis a little bit. But, you know, when they're on the plane or whatever it is, I'm, I'm usually the one. Uh, Mark Kotze likes EDM. That was revealed in an interview I did with him earlier this year. Okay. I was kind of surprised, to be honest with you. I've always liked electronic music. I know it's not for everybody. I realize some people watching this are cringing right now. I feel like electronic music someday might be looked back at as like the classical music of our generation. It could be. I mean, it's just, I, I know. I, that's there's crazy. all sorts. The thing is, is like with electronic music, there's all sorts of like electronic music. Like, it's so like beautiful. EDM. Though. EDM's not necessarily for me, but like house music and deep house and yeah. like new funk type stuff. Like I love that. All stuff. right.